hello, 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 at home family. We're so glad you joined us today. What a wonderful day it is. This is the day that the Lord hath made, and we will rejoice. It's a choice. I've decided I'm going to rejoice today. No matter what's going on, I'm rejoicing because God gave us the very air that we're breathing. You know, when you crawl out of bed this morning, you could see, you could hear, you could talk, you could walk, you could uh, get dressed, get your shower, get dressed, get something. I mean, that's a lot to be thankful for. Many people can't. And we're right in the middle of the most exciting time of the year because it's harvest time. I want you to look at this um, bowl of wonderful tomatoes and zucchini. I'm sure if you have been growing tomatoes or zucchini, you know that this time of the year you have a lot. Uh, what's the old joke about, you know, somebody goes out and when they come home, there's a, su a surprise on your porch. It's a zucchini. Why not? There's so many versatile ways to use it up. We're going to do that today. And then tomatoes. Don't you just love these tomatoes? These are beautiful. These are romas. You can tell by the size and the shape of them. We have some little cherry tomatoes and the big beauties that we're going to make a wonderful salad. All of that going on. All right, folks, we're going to take our hint. And we come back, we're starting to use our zucchini and tomatoes for a great meal you don't want to miss. We'll be right back. Here's today's at-home hint. To remove stubborn, burned-on stains from your casserole dishes, fill the pan with warm water, add a fresh dryer sheet to the bottom of the pan, and let soak for 15 minutes. Wash and rinse thoroughly. If you have an at-home hint, a favorite recipe, or just a friendly greeting you'd like to share, we'd like to hear from you. Post it in the comments of this video, or visit our Facebook page. Well, Patty's here with us, and we're doing a harvest dinner and you're going to start with dessert first because it has to bake. Exactly. And she's going to make something called lemon zucchini drop Co cookies. cookies. Now, I've always made the zucchini breads in that, but these are cookies, something yeah. different. Mm -hmm. Is this a good recipe? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. So get it started. Tell us what you're going to do. All right. You start with a half a cup of butter. and Soft a, butter, yeah, right? soft, Yeah, soft butter and a cup of sugar. And you just cream it. With your mixer. Oh, it'd be nice if that stayed in there, huh? <laughs> so you want to use your electric mixer for yeah. that, because that creams it so much quicker and easier. Right. Okay, so yeah. while she's creaming that, I'm making a sweet and sour tomato salad. Look at these gorgeous tomatoes. Oh, this is the time. Use them up. You can also freeze them by washing them off, keep them whole, put them in Ziploc freezer bags, Put them in your freezer, bring them out as needed, and as they start to thaw, peel off the skin. Put them, you can cut them just for a sandwich, you can put them in sauces, you can make anything with them. That's an easy way. You don't have to can like we used to can everything. You don't have to do that so much anymore. That's nice. Well, okay. I put um, an egg and fresh peeled lemon peel, teaspoon of that. Okay. And one cup of freshly grated zucchini. Now, did you grate that in the food processor or no, just on the box grater? No, actually, I did it with the box grater. Okay. But you could do that if you're doing a lot, like if you're yeah. going to make batches of these. Yeah, if you're making a lot, yeah, do that. Mm -hmm. But it was now, just as easy to use the. Yeah. Now all I'm doing here, this calls for seven uh, big, large tomatoes sliced thin. You don't want big, thick slices like you put on a sandwich. You want thin slices because the sauce that we're going to put on this is going to permeate the whole tomato. It's going to be so good. This is a lot of cutting here, but it's all right. It's a lot of cutting. Hey, get the hub ready. Get him over right. here cutting these, right? Exactly. While you're doing the other exactly. stuff. Exactly. Now, um, this all I do is add two cups of flour. Two flour, okay. And then a teaspoon of soda and a teaspoon of powder. Oh, both of them, okay. Mm -hmm. And then a teaspoon of cinnamon and a half a teaspoon of salt. Oh, okay. It's so simple. Yeah, very easy. And you know, and I know that there are raisins and, and walnuts that mm -hmm. are going to go in this. Right. And I'm going to ask you if you would hold back on the walnuts on this one and just put the raisins just in. Just raisins? Yeah, because some people, you know, Still we made like another, nuts. yeah. They and some people can't. That's exactly right. And I think a lot of times we're just throwing the nuts into everything and not thinking about people that can't. So I try to do a cookie that will, you know. Do you want more raisins in it then or just um, keep the same half what? cup? You could. Yeah, you could put a few more in. Okay. If you don't mind doing that, yeah, I think no, I should have told you that, but I just was thinking about that as we were, I was looking at that, and I thought, you know, you make, you make zucchini bread or banana bridge, put walnuts right. in it, you know, or, and right. it's just nice to do something a little bit different. 
made banana muffins the other day and didn't put nuts in it and felt so weird not putting nuts yeah, in them. Yeah, but it tasted good, though, didn't oh, it? Oh, it was delicious. Yeah. tasted good. Delicious. Sure. I like that. You know, you're, I don't know about you, but I'm constantly looking for ways to use up zucchinis. And I love it when people give them to me. We don't grow mm -hmm. them, but I always seem to have zucchinis in my fridge. And I love the new, unusual, different ways of preparing it. Just something different, like a cookie. I've always made the breads, and I, I like the breads, and, and people, I always enjoy giving those away. But it's nice to do a cookie, just something different. And if you have a lot, you can make lots of big batches of this. Put them in your freezer. You know, the, the key is just the air is your enemy. And you want to put that in a, a Ziploc or something and get all the air out before you seal it. Didn't we make an apple pie one time with zucchini? Uh-huh. And it was out of this world. They do a fake, it's called a fake apple pie or something. Something like zucchini. it was out of this world. Instead of the apples. But I remember making it. It was really good. Oh, yeah, definitely. That's a long time ago. Long time. I'm going to have a flood over here pretty soon because all oh, this tomatoes. tomato juice, but I'm going to just dump that right in that bowl. Like, get it oh. there <laughs> before it goes everywhere else. Didn't do too good there. That's all right. That's all right. Not to worry. Nope. Sometimes it gets ahead of you there. Yeah, one more mater after this one. Mm -hmm. And how are you doing? Oh, you're already. And I'm dropping them. It's a drop by teaspoon or drop by tablespoon. Okay. And they don't, what do they bake at? Uh, 375. Which is about. a little bit uh, hotter for a cookie than mm -hmm. normal, huh? Yep, and they just bake them to a nice light little brown. Yeah. You get about three and a half dozen cookies. Okay. Yeah. And then we're going to put a nice icing on that in the next segment. We want to do that because uh, you, that's, that would be a little dry, I think. Mm -hmm. It would be, just be nice to put something else on yeah, there. This would be a nice soft cookie, though. Yeah. Oh, I, these, these tomatoes are making my mouth water so bad. Oh, they smell wonderful. Yum, yum, I yum. I love yum. tomatoes. And they're not, Paul always calls them, you know, when you get them in the middle of the winter and they're like pink. Mm -hmm. They're anemic. I don't want them. No, these are beautiful. I understand. Okay. Let me get this out of the way. Put that to the side. Now I'm going to make my sauce for this. And let me get my tomatoes over here. And this is just half a cup of sugar, and you can do this more or less to your desire. If you want it sweeter or not so sweet, it's up to you. And then we have, this is just plain white vinegar, half a cup, sweet and sour, okay? This is good olive oil. You want to go next with that, just like that, mm. okay? Now I'm going to add my half of a red onion, and you see how we cut it in half moons? And then you want to separate those. To separate them out, put them in there. Seems like we have a lot there. Okay, and then salt and pepper, and we're using the coarse salt. Tomatoes really like salt, so mm -hmm. we can be a little generous with that. And then some pepper. I'm mixing up. She's got them in the oven. We come back more of our zucchini and tomato show. Stay with us. Do you love watching At Home with Arlene Williams? Then be sure to check out our new YouTube channel. It's filled with classic episodes from over 20 years of At Home, and more videos are added each day. And don't forget to click the subscribe button so you'll never miss another episode of At Home. Okay, if you're just joining us, we're doing our zucchini and tomato harvest dinner. And we've, we're using those um, ingredients in what we're making. We've already made our dessert. We've got some great cookies, and I'm going to be making the, the icing for them. And Patty is now doing a farfalle pasta with zucchini and lemon cream sauce. Oh, my. Mm -hmm. She's got four cups of thinly sliced zucchini and some cloves of garlic in there and some olive oil. Yeah. That needs to cook about eight minutes because we want to really get some brown on that and get some flavor going. And then we have ricotta cheese, mascarpone cheese, Parmesan cheese, Fresh lemon peel. It's going to make it good. Salt and pepper and some... Uh, fresh basil. Fresh basil. That is going to be awesome. We're cooking some sausages over there. Just brown them off just to uh, add a, a meat to that. So if you want it or not. So, Patty, just go ahead and do yours. I'm going to sit over here and make my, my frosting, which is your basic cream cheese frosting. I've got a stick of butter, package of cream cheese here, soft, and I've just mixed them together. Now I'm going to add two cups 
of powdered sugar, and just a bit of vanilla. And we're just gonna give this a little go here. What's going on, are we doing good? I'm just mixing the cheeses and the lemon right now. So that doesn't go in the skillet, that's, no. that's the sauce there. And we're going to be adding some of the pasta water to that to thin that sauce down, that's gonna be great. That's gonna be good. Mm -hmm. And those for follies are those little bow ties, I love them. Oh, I do too. And they only cook for just about 12 minutes and still have a little bite to them. This They're gonna be good. so good with that cheese and oh, lemon. Yeah. Oh my goodness, I just wanna jump in the bowl. <laughs> yeah, why not, huh? That's amazing. Okay, you won't be hearing me for a while. How many, yeah. I think that's supposed to serve six people, Patty. Yes, yeah, that's what it says, six, nice six servings. Great. Oh yeah. Wonderful. Okay. And what do you think about the zucchini? Do you think we're about there? No, I think we need to give it a little bit more color. A little longer? Yeah. Because I think that that's what's going to make it flavorful. You don't want it to taste boiled. You want it to get that fried taste to it. Okay. It really tastes good that way. Okay, these are the cookies that we did in the first segment. This is awesome. There's uh, walnuts, there's raisins, and there's grated zucchini. What a nice cookie. Look at the brown on it. Isn't it beautiful? Very, very nice. Now, all we're gonna do is add our cream cheese frosting. Now, if you don't like cream cheese, you can do a glaze, just a plain, you know, just uh, really milk and powdered sugar if you wanted to. That's fine. I just kinda like to beef it up a little bit. And this makes about three and a half dozen. Nice size cookies, very nice size. We drop those by tablespoon. I like this icing for these cookies, Patty, don't you? Yo, I love cream cheese icing for just about everything. Right, now she's gonna add about a quarter of a cup of the pasta water to that sauce that she's making with the cheese. And what, you, what they're, I'm noticing now is you keep that pasta water because that's got a lot of taste to it. And that adds a nice touch oh, look to how nice. You look how creamy it got. Mm -hmm. That looks wonderful. And you know the nice part about this, when that pasta, our pasta's already cooked, mm -hmm. and when that zucchini's done, all you do is put those two together. Put them together and you have, you don't even have to put that in to cook or anything. That's ready to go because that's fine. all cheeses. Oh, wow. And that fresh. That's nice and easy, too. The fresh lemon peel in that is incredible. Yes. This is a quick, quick zucchini pasta a meal. I mean, you, know, you have that in 15 minutes if you really step to it. Yeah. What okay? do you think of this? I think the garlic's getting kind okay, of Okay, I think we should take it out then. Now, how are the uh, sausages? Are we doing okay with the sausages? Sausages are looking good. Okay. Zucchini's you, looking good. Now I just put the well, zucchini in here. I would put my pasta in there first. Okay. Get that in the sink. Should draining. I redip it in the? No, I think it'll be fine. It'll be fine. We we cooked it earlier and it's been draining in the sink, so I think it'll be fine. Maybe okay. should run that underwater. Oh, it'll it'll break apart. Yeah, it's breaking. And the other thing is, once you get this together, if it seems like it's still thick, you can add another. A little bit. You don't want to go crazy with that pasta water because then you're going to have watery flavors right. and you don't want that. But you can keep adding it like a tablespoon at a time, that little bit, until you get it the consistency that you like. Yeah, okay? this is coming apart nicely. Just mix it well and it will, it will be oh, fine. Yeah. It's perfect. And I think when you put the zucchini in there, let's drop that in there right now because okay. that'll help to loosen get that up going. too. Okay. You know, we always start out with bowls that we think will be plenty big enough. And by the time you get everything put in the bowls, we're like, can we yeah. have a bigger bowl? I know. <laughs> Pretty soon we're just going to start to cook in vats because <laughs> we try to make enough food for the crew and everybody to enjoy a little bit just to get a taste. So, oh, this looks incredible. I tell you, I wish you could smell it because it does smell great. Oh. It smells really, really good. And that and, the, and having some sweet sausages cooking beside it, that's nothing shabby, folks. Mm -hmm. That smells like yum supper. Oh, yeah. You know, if you want to do pork chops or if you do some kind of a meat that you don't have a gravy or don't need a gravy, this is a perfect pasta for that. Truly perfect pasta. So. Oh, this does. It looks incredible. And I love zucchini. Just I do about too. any way. I love to just, uh, one of the guys here that runs camera, Mike, said to me, he likes to split them lengthwise and then just hit them with a little bit of olive oil. Oh, my. And just let them brown off. Oh, that sounds oh, good. Oh, my goodness. Awesome. My mom used to make it with onions and... Um, 
and a tomato sauce. Oh, and, okay. oh it was delicious. And, you know, you always think when you do this kind of stuff, oh, it has to be in a tomato sauce, mm -hmm. but it doesn't. Nope. It can be in all kinds of, you know, just, just whatever. Like, I've never seen a cookie recipe that, that wasn't real dry, but these are very moist cookies. Oh, yeah. I'm telling you, as I'm, as I'm doing this, this is very moist. This is not dry. In fact, it's sticking a little bit to my, my fingers, and that's a good sign. Maybe because of zucchini. The I'm zucchini sure that, keeps oh, things yeah, so sure. moist. And when you're making zucchini breads, try adding just like a half a cup of sour cream to your batter. It makes all the difference in the world because that makes it not so dry. That moistens oh, and keeps yeah. it moist. Yes, sir. Look at these. These are oh. pretty. Look how nice this looks. Beautiful. That Beautiful. Does. It looks pretty. Okay, let's check on those uh, sausages. Sausages. And I'm going to keep doing my icing. And. When we come back, we're going to be in, we have a big surprise for you. So when we come back, we're going to be in our newly refurbished, no longer dining room. It's now a hearth room. Don't want to miss it. Stick around. We'll be back in just a minute. Just go to ctvn.org slash at home to get all the recipes from today's show for free. That's right. No subscriptions, they're available online at no cost, and more are being added each day. So join us at ctvn.org slash at home to get today's recipes now. I told you, here we are in our brand new hearth room. Isn't this lovely? Beautiful, comfortable setting. You know, we can have parties here. You can, you can sit down at a table and read a book, whatever. It's a little bit more relaxed. We just thought that it takes the the pressure of a big fancy formal dining room because a lot of people don't have them. It's okay if you do, but it's nice to have a relaxing atmosphere because we have cooked up some wonderful, wonderful things today. This tomato salad, I'm telling you, with that sweet and sour dressing on it, and the longer you leave these sit in that, the better they get. You're gonna want to make sure you, if you're gonna use these, and you possibly can for a party, make them in the morning and don't refrigerate them. Let them set out, they will not spoil. That's an awesome salad that you're really, really going to like, okay? And then next to it, we have our pasta. This is our fafali that has zucchini in it, and it has a wonderful lemon cream sauce. I'm telling you, there's a, a little bite to that still. It doesn't have exactly the mushy flavor that you have sometimes with pasta. This is a perfect pasta for everybody. And then we just browned off some gorgeous sausages. Look at those. That's a sweet sausage I put with that. And I think that rounds out the meal nicely because if you wanted to do hamburgers with that, if you wanted to do pork chops, whatever, meatballs, whatever, you can do that. If you don't have to have a gravy, this is perfect. This is a nice combination. And then, of course, we did our zucchini drop cookies. Look at that. I'm telling you, these are the most tasty. Mo Look how moist that is. It breaks apart in your hand. That's how moist it is. That's unusual for a cookie like this. But I'm telling you, you, can, you put raisins, and or you can leave them out. That's optional. Walnuts, optional. Whatever you want to do is fine. I think that this is a great clean-up-the-garden type dinner that you can have. You can have corn on a cob with this. Wouldn't that be a nice addition? It's a wonderful, well-balanced meal. Well, we are, we're so glad that you came along with us today, and we be sure to join us the next time because it just wouldn't be the same without you. We'll see you then. God bless. Furnishings provided by Levin Furniture, featuring Lane's Country Living Collection. Food provided by Jordan Banana Company, wholesalers of fresh fruit and vegetables in Travosburg, Pennsylvania. Don't forget to click the subscribe button so you'll never miss another episode of At Home. Thank you for watching. Cornerstone Television wishes to thank all our faithful viewers whose consistent prayers and financial support have made this program possible.